Hey guys, I'm Katie with Derive, the travel destination guide created by students for you. First stop, St. Kitts and Nevis. These sister islands form a nation situated between the Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean Sea. St. Kitts is the mainland surrounded by not only beaches, but also mountainous views that are simply breathtaking. Nevis, however, is the volcanic island that is much smaller, yet visible from nearly any part of the mainland. So, now that you know a little bit more about the scenery and what to expect while visiting, let's dive into my personal experience in St. Kitts and Nevis. One week in St. Kitts is plenty of time for you to see all of the island, as it is only 65 miles long from one end to another. Being that we rented a vehicle for the week, we found ourselves spending much of our time on the Caribbean end, as the water is much more clear and calm and the beaches are simply unbelievable. Now I'm gonna give you a little bit of information on what places and experiences were the most unforgettable for me. The Salt Plage is a restaurant that we found ourselves going to many times for dinner throughout our time visiting. The hammock dining is something that was unforgettable for me to experience, and honestly, it just makes me want to go back more and more. This is the place where you can also find live music, wonderful drink options, and a greater cuisine variety than any of the alternatives throughout the entire island. The Shiggity Shack was another dining place that we found ourselves going to, mostly for lunch. The restaurant is also known for being the home of the monkeys. So while eating lunch or dinner at the Shiggity Shack, you will find yourselves being greeted by monkeys at your table while also watching them swing around in the jungle behind you. While dining is of course important, the main reason to travel to an island is of course for the beaches. The beaches in St. Kitts are very different. From one side of the island to another, you will experience something completely new. On the Atlantic side, you will find yourself in hard sands that has very deep waters and very treacherous waves. However, on the other side, you find yourself in black sands in completely clear water. This is something that was unforgettable for me as I had always wanted to travel to a black sand beach. The most memorable experience I faced throughout my week on the islands was the catamaran trip that I took from St. Kitts to the island of Nevis. From snorkeling with a view of rainbow colored reefs and the experience of being two feet away from a giant barracuda, which is very terrifying, to enjoying the black sand beaches of Nevis, the eight hour excursion allows me to say today that this was the greatest experience of my life. And although it may sound like Nevis and St. Kitts have very similar beaches, they are very different in their own ways. Where they are both covered in black sand and have crystal clear waters, Nevis was something that was unbelievable for me to experience. The reason that I mention the difference is because from St. Kitts to Nevis, although they are only a couple miles away, you will experience a severe climate change. While in St. Kitts, of course, you will definitely find tropical weather being between 85 and 90 degrees in the month of May, Nevis brings a completely different feel. Due to this tiny island being completely covered in a volcano, it is very different than being in St. Kitts. The reason that I say that is because the volcano tends to be so large that it blocks the wind from getting to your direction. So when you are on the beach, you find yourself baking in the sun, which could be a good thing and a bad thing, depending on what you like. However, it is very intense and you must bring sunblock. Trust me, I learned this the hard way. While we visited the island of Nevis on the catamaran trip, we had three hours to experience whatever we wanted to. So we decided to rent a jet ski. Take a look. Of the many islands that I've traveled to, St. Kitts and Nevis was by far the most memorable and beautiful in the rawest of ways. Being a visitor of the island right after a devastating hurricane in 2018, it still was simply unforgettable. If you're looking to add St. Kitts and Nevis to your destination bucket list, visit the link below to learn more about what to expect on the island and where you should stay. So of the experiences that I've told and the content that you've seen, please let me know what you think in the comments and I'll be sure to let you know any more information if needed.